Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 3, lesson 1. Relate multiplication and division. Page number is 135. Okay, guys, today we will relate the multiplication and the division. How? Look at this one, the first thing here. Uh, how many r columns we have here? One, two, three, four. We have four columns. And how many rows? One, two, three. Three rows. Uh, look at this, guys. When we see uh, something in lines in this way, that is known as columns. So one, two, three, and four columns. And how many rows? One, two, and three. Three columns, four rows. Now, if we want to know how many total circles we have, so we will multiply the number of rows by the number of columns. We have four columns and three rows. So four times three, 12. So total 12 counters. Okay, so here we can write it as 3 times 4, or we can write, because they said rows and columns, we can also write 4 times 3. If they say columns were first and rows second, and then total. So we can say 3 times 4, that is equal to 12, and we can say uh, 4 times 3, that is equal to 12. Okay, now in division, we use the total first and then we divide it on the number of rows. The total how many? First we count all of them. They are 12. Now we are looking for how many number of columns. So we see that the number of rows are 3, 1, 2 and 3. So divide the total 3 with 3 equals to 4, so 4 columns. If you divide the total with the number of columns, you will get rows. Here boys. Actually, this is known as the fact family. Like you can say 3 times 4 equals to 12, 4 times 3 equals to 12. Now you can say it in opposite way. 12 divided 4, that is equal to 3. Or 12 divided 3, that is equal to 4. Let us move to next question. We understand more better. Look at this one. Again, see this boys. How many rows from here? 1, 2, 3. 3 rows. How many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4. The same thing. 3 times 4, that is equal to 12. Or 4 times 3, that is equal to 12. Or in opposite way now, when you uh, want to write, relate division with the multiplication, we start from the total. So 12 divide 4, that is equal to 3. Yeah. 12 divide 4, that is equal to 3. Similarly, the opposite of this one, 12 divided 3 equals to 4. Here it is, 12 divided 3 equals to 4. So, here it is, boys. The third example. Uh, Willis has 36 books to put on 4 shelves. The same number of books will be placed on each shelf. So, how many books will be on each shelf? You divide the total on 4, 36 divide 4, that is equal to 9. You can write a multiplication problem. Okay, look at this, boys. If I write uh, 36 divide 4, that is equal to 9. Or, while I am now, if I uh, write this, relate this division with multiplication, I start from this side. 9 times 4, that is equal to 36. So I will write it like this. 9 times 4, that is equal to 36. Uh, in this one, in multiplication, we can switch the numbers. It's okay. We can use the commutative property. So even you, if you say 9 times 4 or 4 times 9, both are equal to 36. Okay, so uh, each one will place 9 books on each shelf. Okay. Here it is now. Let's look at this. How many rows? 1, 2, 
three. Three rows, how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so three times seven, 21. Now you have to write it in four sentences. Two multiplication, two division. We call it fact family. We call it what? Fact family. You have to write the fact family for each array. Now the first one, three rows, so three times seven columns, so seven, three times seven, 21. Or you can say seven times three, 21. To write the division, you start from here, 21 divided seven equals to three. Here it is, 21 divided seven equals to three. Or 21 divided three equals to seven. 21 divided three equals to seven. This one, five rows, five columns, uh, both are five, so you can write only two uh, sentences, one multiplication and one division. Five times five, 25. If you start from here, 25 divide five equals to five. 25 divide five equals to five. Let us move to the next page. Here it is, guys, on this page. This is independent practice. I will show you only one question here and remaining all you have to solve by yourself and then you can match your answers from this video. Again, we have to write the fact family. We will see how many rows here. Two rows, two rows, okay. And how many columns? One, two, three, three columns. So two times three is six. And we can say three times two, six in opposite way. 6 divided 3 equals to 2. Here it is. 6 divided 3 equals to 2. Uh, opposite of this one, 6 divided 2 equals to 3. Here we write it. 6 divided 2 equals to 3. Similarly, this one. Now, guys, here, instead of pictures, they give you the numbers to write the fact family. So this is the way of writing. 6 times 9 equals to 54. And then you will make the fact family for this. 7 times 8, 56, 9 times 11, 99, 11 times 12, 132. Here, you have to fill the blanks. Here, guys, let us move to the next page. Okay, here. Uh, the first two are very simple. Uh, you can read the statements here. Uh, then 5 times 4, that is 20 strings. Maybe they're talking about the strings here. And... Uh, how many graphs? So 12, 18 divided 3, that is equal to 6 grams. Okay. Uh, they're talking about the grapes here. Okay. Uh, why divide 3, guys? They said 18 grapes equally among himself and two friends. Himself, 1, and two friends, so total 3. So 18 divided 3, 6 grapes. Okay, here it is, the next one, uh, 9 times what will give you 81, so 9 times 9, that is equal to 81. Uh, boys, here in this question, in question number 14, uh, they give you 24 dots, 3 rows, and how many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now you have to give me the fact family for this, these dots, okay? in the comment box and this is question number 15 some explanation about fact family thank you so much guys I hope you understand the lesson and if you really understand the lesson don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much have a nice day